Why do the government have to get involved in every bloody thing we do? We own the device, we can do what we want with it, we don't need you telling us. Hi, it's me again. I'm going to talk to you today about a story that's really wound me up. And I covered this a couple of months ago when they were just thinking about it, and it looks like it's taken a big step forward. So let's take a look at this story, and we'll have a bit of a chat about it, shall we? New UK law will change your TV and hand a huge advantage to BBC over Netflix. The UK government plans to introduce legislation that will alter the software on your smart TV to give more prominence to the BBC, ITV and Channel 4 over the US streaming giants like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. How ridiculous is that? That's just bloody stupid. I'll talk about it. Look, read a bit more, I'll talk about it. The UK government is looking to introduce new legislation that will secure prominence for British public service broadcasters like the BBC and Channel 4 on all smart TVs. The decision follows criticism from the Digital Culture, Media and Sport Committee, which slammed the government for acting too slowly to secure prominence on smart TVs. Why is that a government thing? Why did the government need to step on every little bit of your bloody life? Under the Communications Act 2003, public service broadcasters need to have prominence in electronic programme guides. This piece of legislation is the reason that regardless of whether you're watching telly on SkyQ, Virgin or UView, these will all include BBC, ITV and Channel 4 at the top of the guide, well before the likes of Sky Atlantic, Dave, Sky Sports or MTV. The Digital Culture, Media and Sport Committee is a stupid name, hopes that new legislation introduced by 2022 would extend this prominence to online platforms such as smart TVs. As it stands, these new platforms aren't covered by the Communications Act 2003. Good. As such, smart TV platforms including Tizen, Tizen, I don't have a Samsung TV. Tizen from Samsung, Roku Smart TVs and Android TV, which is the one I use, can feature streaming services like Netflix Prime Video and Disney Plus above the likes of BBC, ITV or Channel 4. Well, the government need to ask themselves why smart TVs are including Prime Video and Netflix higher in the rankings. I mean, my remote for my smart TV, I don't know where it is, I'll try and do somewhere, I'll find it in a minute has buttons built in for Netflix and Amazon Prime. It doesn't have buttons built in for all four and BBC iPlayer. Why? Why is it? All right, it's a world device, but for the UK, they could change it. The reason is because people really like Netflix and Amazon Prime and use them a lot. And Netflix is used by loads of people now. It's crazy. And there's good stuff on there. Why would you want that included? Why do I want a button that says BBC iPlayer? What a waste of a button. I wouldn't want that button. On there. And the other thing is, Android TV, which is the one I use, you have your menu system and you can put your apps where you want. So they're going to make, they're going to update my TV, are they, to have BBC iPlayer, which I do not want on my telly. I didn't ask for it. I don't want it on there. And all four, which I do have quite like all four. But I won't be able to move them. They have to stay prominent on my screen. Is that what they're saying? I can't move them. In a device that I own, I can't remove apps or move them to where I want them. So what about my iPhone? I have an iPhone. Is it going to be made to install iPlayer on there? I don't want it on there. I've got no need to have it on there. So it's going to be on there and I can't remove it. Is that what they're saying? Does that sound a bit draconian to you? I can't get on board with that. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. And I won't worry too much about it if you have an Android TV like myself because someone will develop a hack and get rid of it. I mean, what I did, my old smart TV had iPlayer built in, and I couldn't get rid of it. Just couldn't get rid of it. It wasn't like Android or anything. It was a bit of a crappy, I think it was a sharp one. A bit of a crappy smart TV, but it was all right. Um, it had iPlayer built in, couldn't get rid of it. So what I did is reset it, um, like the full factory reset, and change the country to France. And then it didn't have it on there because it's not available in France. And I didn't have it tuned into any tele channels, so it made no difference. Now I can just install the apps that I did want. That's what I did. And if it happens with my Android TV, that's what I'll do again too. Or I'll find a hack to get rid of it. Whatever. I don't want you putting BBC iPlayer on my telly. Thank you very much. So what do you think about this ridiculous thing? Why do the government have to get involved in every bloody thing we do? We own the device. We can do what we want with it. We don't need you telling us. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, there's links to all sorts of things. And if you need to contact me, whatever, it's all down below. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching me ranting again. Bye.